100,000 Royal Mail workers could become the latest to vote to go on strike later today. All part of a growing summer of walkouts, which is leading Labour to brand the government in charge of backlog Britain, while the party's shadow economic secretary to the Treasury, Two Lips Deep, joins us now from Westminster. Very good morning to you. I'm sure that this will... Uh, resonate because if anybody's trying to get a passport at the moment, it's taking them uh, a couple of months uh, in some cases. Of course, if you go to the airport, you then face your uh, flight not taking off. You, there's a prospect of losing your luggage, baggage handler strikes, etc., etc. Um, where do you stand on the strike action? Is it something that you as a party, and we've heard Sir Keir Stummer being a little reticent about it, perhaps sitting on the fence, do you stand full square behind those public sector workers withdrawing their labour? Good morning, Susanna. Good morning. Let's put it this way. We can't sit around and clap workers who are driving our trains or our tubes during the pandemic, calling them key workers and then refuse to give them better pay conditions. But I want to go back to what you said about backlog Britain, because why are these people striking? They're striking because we're in a situation where we're facing the worst cost of living crisis in 30 years. We're in a situation, as you've already said, where my constituents are being told, wait 10 weeks before you even apply to renew your passport. We're in a situation in backlog Britain where people are being told, don't renew your driving license because we can't get to you. There's 400,000 people currently waiting for a new driving license people who rely on their driving licences for their livelihood. Totally. Last I year, totally... Susanna, and I know, and, and you know, <laughs> I'm one of those people in, in one of those positions. You know, many of us are. The point is, it, does the Labour Party, as a principle, support the strike action, which in some cases is going to lead to more disruption in those services? It's, it's a simple point of principle. And I think that those union members or even those supporters we've seen from our own, po own polling that there's a huge amount of public sympathy. They want to know, does the Labour Party stand full square behind those workers? We didn't want this strike to go ahead because it's disruption for the country. I'm sure you faced it as well. And we didn't want it to go ahead at this point. But we are f absolutely behind the workers who are saying to the government they need to get round a table to negotiate some kind of deal. The government hasn't lifted a finger. They haven't given any day or any time to these people who are desperately crying out for better conditions. If you're behind it's behind the, the striker. If you're behind the strikers and you support the strike action, why did your leader order front benches to stay away from picket lines? Surely that's we the most obvious way to support those workers who are uh, striking. Well, as I said, we didn't want this strike to go ahead. We obviously respect workers' right to strike, but we didn't want this strike to go ahead. But, Susanna, the truth is, we're not in government. The government has responsibility to sit round the table with these people, the workers and the employees who are striking, listen to their concerns and come to some sort of settled yeah, but, agreement. Uh, uh, They've done that in Wales, where there's a Labour government they had averted the train strikes because they sat round, had a proper conversation and said, OK, what are you asking for? But Why couldn't Sadiq, the Conservative government do the same thing Sadiq, here? You, you may not be in government, but you are the opposition. And it doesn't seem to be a very clear uh, position from the government. We, we did a recent poll here at uh, GMB. Uh, it was done by Opinion Research. Nearly 1,700 people polled. 45% say they were in support of the decision to strike. 67% of Labour voters support the strikes compared to 21% who don't. Are you out of touch, even with your own voters, with your own party? We shouldn't have been in a situation where these strikes were even going ahead. Why didn't the government get the people, the workers, the employers, the unions, round the table and have a conversation with them? I don't understand. That is the job of the government to listen to workers who we applauded during the pandemic for providing a vital service, which they do. Instead, they're presiding over the worst cost of living crisis in 30 years. They've created a backlog Britain with economies in decline and public services that we rely on are falling apart. We are in a situation where the government is not governing. All they're doing is lurching from one crisis to another, 
creating some sticking plasters, trying to get through it, and their ultimate aim but, but is e to but keep even Boris when we reach break, even, in even when the unions and workers feel that they've reached breaking point, the party they would expect would support them, the Labour Party, mm. you're saying, even when it comes to breaking point, after all of what you've just said, when it comes to a, a difficult decision for them, a lot of them won't get paid if they strike, they haven't got your support. They have not got the support of the Labour Party when they go out there with, and decide to have no money and go out and strike on the picket lines. They don't have your support. But, Adil, you've just said they've reached breaking point. Why did they get to that point? You, they I, got to that point with breaking point because the government will not listen to them and will not negotiate. But in their time Again, of need, in their time of real need, you're not there to support them. In their time of need, in Labour-run Wales, we didn't have any strikes because the government did the responsible thing by getting around these people and actually listening to what they wanted. Why won't this government listen? That's the problem I have. And my problem is these workers and employees wouldn't have to take the last resort of going on strike if the Prime Minister had given them the okay. time of day. All right. uh, Tulip Sadiq, there we must leave it. Thanks very much indeed.